As always, it's wonderful to see you again, Odoers. My name is Jose Ignacio, and today we're going to be talking about shipping labels. Specifically, how you can print them automatically by integrating a third-party shipper. You see, there's a bunch of information you need to provide to a shipper to get a shipping label for each package. This includes your address, the recipient's address, and the package weight. It would be pretty annoying if you had to enter all of those details every time that you ship something. Am I right? I've got good news for you. By configuring a few key details inside of Odoo, the inventory app automatically generates a shipping label each time you validate a delivery order. So, enough chit chat. Let's jump into our database and see how that works. All right, the first thing we need to do is enable the connector for the shipper we want to use. So to do so, I'm actually going to open our inventory application over here, click on configuration and settings. Then once over here, we're actually going to scroll down over here to where we see shipping connectors as the header. Now this lists every shipping company that can be integrated with Odoo. To enable a shipper, I just need to tick on the little checkbox over here next to its name, like I have for the FedEx connector. It's already been enabled, and this is actually going to be the shipper we're going to be using for today's example. However, when you enable a shipper in your own database, make sure that you click save in the top left. Don't lose your changes, or this tutorial might not work. Anyways, once a shipper is enabled and you've saved, we need to configure one or more of their shipping methods. There are a couple ways to see shipping methods for a specific shipper. I can click on the shipping methods link below the connector here on the shipping methods page right there, if I would like to as well. Or I can also navigate over to configuration, and in our case, it's going to be at the very bottom, shipping methods. I want to show you both ways. So each shipper over here comes with a few stock shipping methods. In the case of FedEx, we have the FedEx International one over there, and FedEx US. So we're going to be shipping a package within the United States for this workflow. So let's go ahead and actually click on the FedEx UX method, US method. Sorry about that small little doopsie. So now I know there is a lot of information on this page, but to automatically print shipping labels, there are actually just a few fields we actually need to worry about. For more information on shipping configuration, check out our other inventory tutorials, and even better, the documentation. I'm going to link it below. So inside of the integration field that we have right there, integration level, we have two options. We actually need to confirm that the get rate and create shipment option is the one that is selected. This option allows us to both calculate a shipping rate and print a shipping label. Finally, we need to fill out all of the fields inside of our configuration tab, which happens to be down here. Now this includes our account credentials as well as code signifying a few different things like the pickup and package type we wanna use. This allows us to connect the account we have with the shipper so that they can automatically generate shipping rates and labels for us. It's important to note that the information required in this section differs for each shipper, so be sure to check out the documentation and how to get it for your shipper of your choice as well. All right, I've just got one more thing to point out before we move on. At the top of the page, we see that we have an actual smart button over here. Well, actually two. Uh, but this one says test environment. This means the shipping method can only be used for testing purposes at the moment. But if I click on this test environment smart button, it updates to read production environment. This allows us to actually use the shipping method to get shipping rates and print labels. Now, since this is just an example, I'm going to click it again because we're just going to be testing stuff. We don't want to alert FedEx. And now it's back to a test environment. Remember, only enable the production environment when you're absolutely ready to start using the shipping method. Otherwise, you might get charged for shipments you don't actually need. No one wants to ship anything that's a thousand pounds that you made up. All right, we're almost ready to start the workflow, but before we do, I need to show you how to configure the information needed for printing labels. Which happens to be our contact info, the recipient's contact info, and finally, how much does the product weigh? So to enter our own shipping address, I just need to return to the main Odoo dashboard over here. And then once again, we're going to open up the settings application. Now you'll notice over here, we have our company section inside of here. I want to click on the word update info and right there. I just need to enter our address info inside of the address field, which happens to be there and our phone number inside of the phone field, which we've already done. So next I'm going to enter the same information for our customer by returning to the main Odoo dashboard. This time we're going to go inside of the sales app. And then we're going to click on the word orders and you guessed it customers. Okay, perfect. Then I need to select the customer. In our case, I'm going to go with Jim Joe Kelly because they're the first one that I saw. 
Now, since we'll be using him for our example on his customer page, we need to make sure his address over here and phone number as well are filled out properly. Finally, we just need to get a weight for our product, which happens to be the bicycle. This will allow the shipper to accurately calculate the cost of shipping. So to do so, we're actually gonna navigate up here to the top heading, products, products. And then we wanna select, in our case, what did I just say, a bicycle. There we go, I found it. And then we're gonna click on our inventory tab over here. Okay, perfect. So here the product's weight is entered inside of the weight field that we have over here to the right. And this happens to be the logistics section in case yours isn't on the right. As you can see, I've already entered a weight of six kilograms. We're using different units. All right, so now we're ready to create a sales order and print the shipping label for it. So to do so, I'm gonna start by selecting the sales application and we're gonna make a new RFQ over here. So we have to first select our customer, which as we talked about is Jim Joe Kelly. Then we need to add a product, which in our case is that bicycle that weighs six kilograms. And you'll notice once that we added the product, an add shipping button appeared in the bottom right corner. And that's where we can add our shipping method. So let's select it right now. So inside of the shipping method field, I'm gonna select FedEx US, perfect. And then I'm gonna click get rate button down here at the bottom because that's gonna automatically generate the price of shipping the product. And then finally, once that we're done, we can actually go out of here and then select the word add and then confirm this to turn it into a sales order or SO for my acronym lovers. So doing so also makes the delivery smart button appear at the top of the page. So we're actually gonna click that to go over to our delivery order for the SO. Now to generate the shipping label, all I have to do is click on the word validate. And then once that we do that, you notice something very cool happens. The label appears in the orders chatter. And if we click it inside of the chatter over here, we can see it inside of a pop-up window. And from here, all I have to do is print out the label and affix it to the package. And just like that, the package is ready to be picked up by FedEx and sent to the customer. And that wraps up today's demo party, people. You now know how to use the inventory app to generate shipping labels automatically. Thank you again for joining me. I'll see you next time.